Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is 1,827, and this is titled, Love Could Be Unfair. <clears throat> this poem is going to make a lot of people in relationships think. Whether you see things like this or not, I hope you at least try to keep an open mind to see the point of view of the writer. This is about someone that is conflicted on being treated fair and equal in a relationship. Love is what's holding it together, but he's asking for more time more us and more attention problem is in a world where people are so different can we really get what we put into that relationship and if you do what does that even mean is it a transaction if we don't what happens we walk away what is fair and love and do those two words even go together <clears throat> love could be unfair people always say relationships should be 50 50. I used to even believe this until I actually fell in love. Unfortunately, now I feel things a little differently. You say you see my point of view, but I don't think you do, baby. But after this is over, I guarantee you will. It's Monday afternoon. You're swamped with paperwork. I even offered to help you with your work. I told you you didn't have to pay me. But no. And now you're so stressed. I'm laying in your bed. I just finished a poem. I want to read it to you, but... You say, not now. You have too much work to do. You can try all you want to balance the scale, but the reality is people are different and it could be so unfair. It's Tuesday. You told me we go get a smoothie, but you're so tired. When you go home, you knock out and fall asleep. And you didn't even call me or text me to let me know you completely forgot. And I'm over here still worried. My mind is going into a million different scenarios, such as, oh my God, did he get into an accident? All you had to do was send a text, a short little text. I don't think that's too much to ask. Wednesday, we had plans to go to the movies, but you had a meeting at work, completely understandable. So I stayed at my desk and did some writing. Thursday, your sister, the one that completely avoids my presence when I walk into a room, has called you up to make plans. I keep remembering when she used to say, why don't you just go back to your ex? You know why? Because I called her out. Friday, I offered you to come over to have dinner with my family, and with how dysfunctional they are, you come, and they treat you perfectly. Saturday, we're watching a movie together on the bed. I'm sliding down my phone, and I see a picture on the newsfeed. My brother posted a picture of him and his other showing their beautiful rings. I show you, and you say, wow, that's beautiful, and then your roommate comes home, and you leave the room. I skim through apartments cheaper than this. You know what I want, and it's been several years. I feel like I'm not being heard. Sunday, I go home, and I do my daily exercise, run. With all these racing, overwhelming thoughts, maybe I'm not getting what I want here. I mean... I only have one night with you, for God's sakes. Maybe I should just leave. I stop in the middle of the road, trying to catch my breath with tears in my eyes. But the thing is, if I leave, it will be worse. I love you with all my heart. Some may say this is settling. But there are things that I know, that I see in you, that I could never find in another man. I could never trade you for another model. Just like I'm sure there are things you love and hate about me. People always say relationships should be 50-50. I used to even believe this until I actually fell in love. Unfortunately, now I feel things a little differently. You say you see my point of view. You read it, but I don't know if you have. I'm not walking away, but we have to find a mutual bridge so when we can meet up. I hope you're listening to me this time. In the meanwhile, we can try with all our force to balance the scale, but the reality is people are different. It's not realistic to expect exactly what you put in. Not everyone can give the same amount. It doesn't mean they love you less. It's what they're capable of. I'm not asking for the whole world, just your time. But I guess that's the point. Yes, love could be so unfair.